Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes, I yes, can. Teacher. Saira, could, could you tell me if you can hear my voice? Saira or Wendy? Oh, Carlos. Hi, teacher. Can, can you hear my voice? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, teacher. Okay. okay. Thank yes, teacher. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I got sick student now, so please I need to wait a little bit.
Okay, I'm going to check up the attendance in order to start. So please say hello, say present, as soon as you hear your name. Okay, Ana Beatriz is now here. We got only six. It's now Ana Beatriz. Okay, I'm going to check up now. Later on, I'm going to do it again. Ana Lilian is there. Hello, Ana Lilian. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Uh, Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Okay, um, Selena is not here. Diana. Present. Thank you. Uh, Eric Orlando. I didn't hear you, Eric. There's a picture. Ah, okay, okay, thank you, sir. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Now here. Juan Carlos Rivas. Now here. Laura. Now here. Maria Concepcion. Now here, Maria, uh, Maria Elena. Mario Ernesto. I don't see Mario Ernesto. Mayra Veralice. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Ah, Zaira. Ma, ah. Me falla el audio, teacher. Ah, ok, ok, Zaira. Present. Ya decía si es de las primeras siempre. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Um, Misael. It's not here. I don't know what's going on today. Wendy. Present teacher. Oh, it's come Friday, on. teacher. Ah, oh, in Oh, that, people in Paris. That is the reason <laughs> why. That is the reason why. Okay. <laughs> Jenny, not here. Yesenia Lisette, not here too. Okay. I don't know, but.
Hold on a second, I'm trying to to see if somebody wrote or sent me a message. Okay. Well, um, in order to start today, um, this is class number 19. We are going to talk about provide suggestion to solve common issues related to warehouse processes. So this uh, is going to be our main topic for this class. I invite you to all of you uh, to be part of the class, participating in an active way. Okay, uh, in order to start, we are going to talk about a discussion. I got it up here. Uh, you are going to read it and maybe you are not going to work with somebody else. You are going to do it by yourself and you are going to give the answers. You don't need to write down anything. What you need to do is just to think how you are going to organize your ideas and and that way you are going to produce this is a production you know okay take a look at the discussion around the world right here we have, we we have a, that is a pair word you just want a free a 30 day trip around the world discuss the following question. Number one, when will you leave and return? Second, which direction will you go? East, west, north, or south? Where will you choose to stop and why? How will you get from place to place? And how long will you stay in each place. Remember, what I want is that you create like a, a paragraph. You don't need to answer every question in the, in the same order that I have here. What I need is that you try to give me an answer, taking into account all the questions. Any question so far from here about what you are going to do? Hello? Hagan una captura, por favor. Okay. You don't need to write down uh, all your ideas. If you want to start giving me an answer, just raise your hand and we can start talking about it. Who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? Hey, teacher. Eric, okay, go ahead, Eric. Uh, when will you leave and return? Um, uh, maybe to Europe. And uh, which direction will you go? East, west, north, or south? Pues, uh, east and specifically the countries that I will visit in Europe is uh, France, Spain, uh, 
all these countries that are near. Uh, I have some friends who travel to these countries. So they told me that uh, when you are in Europe, it's easier to move to one country to other. So you can travel uh, in trains yes. and it's, yes, and it's in like hotels, food are not, not so expensive as someone could think. And, and where will you choose to stop? And maybe I can, I can be in France like one week and in the other countries, maybe two or three days. And that's it. Maybe another question is, uh, uh, with, uh, with whom maybe I, I would like to, to travel in is with my girlfriend. That's it. Okay, thank you. Present teacher. Okay, uh, uh, Eric, so uh, only, only as a, a little advice. At the moment uh, that you mentioned the countries, uh, if you are going to use different names, uh, you are going to use R instead of is. The countries that I plan to visit are, and you start saying Spain, uh, German, French, and so on. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, and, and what you said is 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 uh, is really true because uh, at the moment that you travel, for example, if you travel to Spain and you need, if you want to move to another country, it's not expensive. Let me see. Five years ago, uh, I had the chance to travel there. And with like uh, 55 euros, you can travel to another country. It, it is called the bullet train. They reach about like a 265 mile per hour. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's really, it's really uh, fast, you know. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, I'm going to tell you this uh, in Spanish. Al momento de, de dar la respuesta, traten lo que les estaba diciendo, traten de darme una sola respuesta, pero abarcando eh, como todas las preguntas. No necesariamente me van a ir diciendo cada una de las preguntas, sino que lo que quiero es eh, que tengan la habilidad de poder organizar una sola respuesta para todas las preguntas, como eh, haciendo como un párrafo, por ejemplo, uh, if we are talking about that you want a free a every day trip around the world, you could use a conditional, you can say if I see yo, yeah, then you start in that way. For example, somebody could say, I would like to travel to, and you start saying like Eric said, okay. Okay, somebody I want to talk. Go ahead, next. Next. Next, please. Who's next? Who's next?
Who's next? Teacher, uh, I will go on December 5th and return on the 30 December. I go into the north to the United States. I want to know the snow, but I go to one place. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Who's next? Okay, somebody else, somebody else? Come on, you can do it. You don't need to write down everything in order to, 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 to share your ideas. You got it there. Okay. Remember the first question, when will you leave and return? Which direction will you go? Are you going to visit the uh, North, South America, East or West? Okay, come on, hurry up. Who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? What about you, Anna Lillian? Yeah. Okay, could you do it? No sé qué me pregunta, teacher, disculpe, es que estoy mal de salud, entonces tengo la clase, pero no estaba atento. Ok, ok. Escobar, what about you? Uh, if I win the, the trip, I, I like uh, go to the German or Noruega, teacher. Okay. Norway, Everton. Yeah. Or Norway, because it's the Germany for the visit the, the my friend and Norway for the weather. Um, Um, hey, what else? What else? I need to use. That is what I want. For that reason, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use this kind of information in order that you participate and try to do it. Fluency is, is, is what I want. Fluency, you know. 
Okay, thank you. Um, let me see. What about you, Wendy, Yesenia, Maria, Maria Elena, Saida, Laura? I translate on. Translating the phrase or the the question, teacher. Okay, but teacher, what I need are, are just the answer. What is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, but yes, I'm just you. Okay, Maria Elena. What is the question? I don't. I have a, some troubles for my internet. And don't see the question. My God, I'm going to share with you. You got it there. You got it there. Um, okay. Okay. When I leave, return from the. Uh, Make a screenshot because I need to stop chilling. Uh, for example, I am travel Mexico and return in a month. Okay, it's very few say I will travel to Mexico. When I travel to Mexico. But, but in, I, this case, in this case, remember, uh, let me show you again because uh, you need to think that you got you won uh, the ticket in order to travel around the world. Because right here, the first question is when will you leave and return? And you are going to say. I will travel to Mexico and you say the date that you are leaving the country and when are you are, are returning. Okay. Okay. Continue. I um, travel to Mexico. Mm, 31 this month and return next month when um Archilo, ¿cómo era? No. Ay, se me olvidó que bueno, palabra para familiares. And you can say, and I will come back. Listen, and I will come back. And I will come back next month. Yeah, and that way, and that way, okay. What else? I am um, living with... Um... Okay, I, I, no, I am, I, okay, it's better if you say, I will live. I will live. Yes. I, could, I will live uh, with my uncle. And... I don't know. No conozco. I am. We visited the Basilica de Guadalupe. Okay, but remember that you got a, a ticket in order to travel around the world. You can go to Mexico, then you can travel to Russia if you want. There are different countries. Mm. Oh. Yeah, bye. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, let us continue then. Because of the time, let's go to the next step. The one that didn't talk about this activity, you can do it later on, okay? But I need that you participate. Okay, let us start uh, 
Hold on a second. I need to have some question here. Let me see where I have it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me show you the question. I'm going to show you the question in the material because I got it here. Give me two seconds, please. Teacher, I try. Okay, if you want, you can try now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If I travel on February 1st to February 15th, at Europe, a specific friend, friend, I should stop in Spain. How beautiful places! Has has beautiful places. I get in airplane in 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 Iberia. <laughs> in, I airline Iberia airline. In, um stay uh four four or four days four days only four days no sorry <laughs> for things no well one uh, two fifteen fourteen fourteen days 14 days, okay. Okay, what else? That's it? Me teacher. Okay, Laura, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hey. I will drill through South so America to explore the culture and people along the Inca road. I will travel more than 3,000 mile, miles, miles through four countries. My adventure uh, will be in Ecuador. I will lead uh, uh, next June. Uh, First June, and I will return I next month. Finish. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, let us focus in our topic for today. You already relax a little bit. Okay, let us start now talking about the first question. What are some common issues related to warehouse management? And also, uh, let us talk about how can these issues affect productivity. Okay, let us start talking about the first one. Common issues related to warehouse management. What can you tell me about? Everything okay? Do you understand the questions? What are some common issues related to warehouse management? And how can these issues affect productivity? I'm going to stop. Um, are, are not a space in warehouse. Something like that, my friend. But hold on a little bit. Hold on a little bit. Okay, let us do this. I already got, uh, let me see something here. Okay. 
you are going to work with somebody else. And every, uh, every group or pair of people is going to talk about one issue and the solution. If you are two uh, in your group, one is going to explain the issue and the another one is going to explain the solution. I don't know if you got my idea. Como van a trabajar en parejas, uno va a hablar sobre el problema y el otro va a hablar sobre la solución. Para ello, uh, I need that you uh, write down in, in, in something like uh, Microsoft Word or PowerPoint if you want, and you are going to share it, your ideas. Problem or solution for what? Okay, hold on. I'm going to show again. I'm going to show again what I'm talking about. About the question that I got here. Referente a la pregunta número uno. Dice, what are some common issues related to warehouse management? You are going to choose only one in your group and you are going to talk about the, the issue and the another one is going to talk about the solution for the issue, you know? And how can this issue affect productivity? But tell me, because I need, uh, I need to, to be sure that you understand what I'm asking. Lo que estoy pidiendo es, ya tengo las parejas ordenadas. Uno hablará sobre un problema en común relacionado con el warehouse management y el otro nos hablará sobre la solución de ese problema y cómo ese problema afecta la productividad. Ahora sí. Yes. Ok. You can use PowerPoint or whatever. Okay, let me see. Okay, here we go. Teacher, I need you introduce me in the room one. Okay, in room one, Maria Elena. Are you going to leave Yesenia Lisette alone? Maria Elena? Maria Elena? I guess it's gonna be better if I move to room two.
Right now, they are working in, a, in an activity that they are uh, discussing with somebody else. The most common issues. In warehouse uh, management, you know.
Okay, welcome back. Let us share your ideas. The site in I teacher. Okay. Puede dar los privilegios para compartir, por favor. Ahorita mismo. Right now, let me do it now. Got it? Have it there? Yes. Uh, what are some common issues relative to warehouse man management that are not a space available in the warehouse? Uh, you, the solution, the possible solution is you can be rent other warehouse. Aira? Okay, second question. How can this usage affect productivity? Raising production cost, the product would not be sold quickly and would remain stored. Only that. Thank you. I guess it is better if you said you can rent. You can rent is better now, I guess. Okay, teacher, you can, you can yeah. be you can be rent. Yes, you can rent. Because you have it there, uh, you can be rented. Yeah. And it is better if you say you can rent. Okay, okay, somebody. Else. Okay, teacher. Somebody else. Try, try share my. Um, my, my presentation. 
Yeah, 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 do it. Okay. A ver si puedo. Oh. Sure, you can do it. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No. No, no estoy compartiendo, ¿va? ¿O sí? No, 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 yet, no, yet. Ok, 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 permítame. Tengo que ver. Ah, documento. Aquí tal vez. No. Yo creo que no puede. Solo screenshots me salen. Tómale un screenshot y lo presenta así, Wendy. Bueno. Ahí presenta el screenshot. ¿Cómo? Le tomé un screenshot a lo que hizo y lo presente. Presenta el screenshot. Ah. ah, ok. Sí, porque no puedo. No sé cómo se hace de tu teléfono. Ok, ok. Creo que soy yo la que puedo. Ahí está. Voy a ver si puedo presentar el stream. Ah, sí, sí. A ver. Here we go, here we go. But we are seeing the, the solution, but we need to see the, 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 the issue. Is, the problem is, is first. <laughs> Sorry. I know the permit. Ya no sé ni cómo salir de aquí. Ay, no, me abruma la tecnología. Permítame. Ah, permítame. <ríe> Creo que puse antes la que no era. Aquí está. ¿Hoy sí? Ya. Yeah. Ok, the problem for my perm my partner and me is there are products that are ruined. And, okay. Um, a solution, Mary? Um, it's a good control of the exploration area of growth. Okay, thank you. Some, thank you, thank you. Somebody else? But first, let, let me check out again the attendance, please. Ana Beatriz, she's not here. Ana Lilian, Ana Lilian, say hello, please. Present teacher. Okay, Escobar. Yes. Selena. Diana. Eric, 
present. Okay, Jonathan. Carlos Rivas. Laura. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present, teacher. Mario Ernesto. Mayra Veralice. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Misael. Wendy. Present teacher. Teacher, I'm here. Diana, okay, Diana. Jenny. And Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. Okay. Okay, let us continue. Somebody who wants to share uh, your ideas or not. Okay, Eric. Can you see my screen? Okay, common issues and warehouses. Uh, first of all, time management. Uh, this is related to uh, order times that uh, customers uh, want. So if we have problems uh, preparing the orders, uh, this will uh, create a lack or a difference of time that the order will be with the customers. And other one is warehouse space. And this is related with uh, a bad organization or, or a projection of growth that a company have. So the, in the future, they're, they're going to, they're, they won't have space to to new products another one is poor communication this is for uh, in two ways uh, bad communications with uh, between employees or bad communication between the company and the customer and the last one is bad security procedures and this means uh, this is related with accidents that could happen and in the warehouse. I don't know if you have seen accidents that uh, occur for uh, a bad management or capacitation uh, from employees to, to drive the monta cargas. I don't know how to say that. And, and you can the four leaf, four leaf. The four leaf. So it could create a, a serious accident. And that's it, thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, somebody else? Me and the Okay, Maria. You first, yes, Okay. Issues. In company, there is a physical and virtual inventory, and you cannot deliver the product if they have no generate the virtual inventory. And that causes the warehouse to become saturated. Solution. The virtual... Hola? Yes, I, yo. <laughs> the virtual inventory and physical inventory have been synchronized. Yeah, it's all.
Schon war das Mädchen? Schauen wir das Mädchen? No? Okay, let me show you some issues. And we are going to read really just some of them because Maybe we are not going to discuss all the seven problems, but at least some of them, because we need to work in another uh, activities. Okay, seven warehouse management problem and their solutions. Okay, let us read some of them. For example, the following, incidental redundancy. Who wants to read it? A volunteer who wants to read it. Okay. Accidental redundancy. Most warehouse perform multiple operation on each student, and those operation are approved. Look together to create the work. Workload, but if the workload is well organized, you may find they the same. Operation is being accident, accidentally performed more than one, more than one. And there's redundancy in greater your lower, your lower cost and take and take up a extra time. When you have to go to go back and reverse the business, this happens more often in large warehouse than if a smaller running times there's more space and more inventory to deal to deal with. Okay, uh, this is one of the problems. You already got some idea related with this. And has to do with redundancy. And he said that uh, increase your labor costs and take up extra time when you have to go back in reverse the mistake. But let's see how we can solve this problem. Okay, somebody else want to read it? Me, teacher Wendy. Okay, Wendy. A solution is to invest in technology such as a modern warehouse. It's execution system with that will help you automate the processes 
that are are prone to redundant redundant in your warehouse warehouse. Redundancy. For instance. What you mean? For instance, to help reduce redundancy. Red, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Redundancy. Redundancy. Redundancy in order, in order picking. I don't know why I think you could use verco technology to scan the products that have been picked for the order and how the system notify the user of any duplicate. Wow, and the okay. Mother. Okay, right here, not pick it. Not pick it. No, pick. Wendy. Pick. Sorry, teacher, no veo bien. I need glasses. Okay. Pick it. No, not pick it. Picked. No. Picked. 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 Yes. Well, I, I guess, um, well, at the moment that we are going to make a review, uh, I'm going to consider the ED uh, pronunciation in, in regular verse. Okay, let us see another issue. Uh, messy warehouse layout. Who wants to read it? Me teacher. Okay. Messy warehouse layout. Okay. Over the years, rising storage costs have pushed warehouse managers into making more efficient use of their warehouse space, but the survey conducted by logistic management back in 2018 suggests that it doesn't always work. The average warehouse capacity utilized by manufacturer was only around 60, uh, 68. 68%. 68% not having enough storage because of inefficient, in, ineffective Effective. use of space. Effective use of space, okay. Is still a common pain point and warehouse. Okay. And right here we had to, to start optimizing your use of so warehouse space, what you had to do. Okay, somebody else wants to read? No? Okay, look in the, into the technology that can help you organize your warehouse layout, such as uh, warehouse management system, WMS. So WMS. Uh, can offer you a 3D model of the most optimal arrangement if given the dimension and measurements of your warehouse and inventory. You can also consider an automated uh, storage and retrieval system, ESORS, which is a network of several computer control pieces of equipment that automate your uh, put away in picking processes. Besides improving the speed and efficiency of your processes, an ASORS can save a huge amount of otherwise wasted warehouse floor space. Okay, later on I'm going to share with you these uh, slices. We can continue talking about this, but I guess it's gonna be better if I'm going to share it because we need to look for another topic that we have in the material. 
Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Let us go to exercise number two. You can find it in the material on page number 30. Very, you can find it there. Okay, exercise number two. Imagine you are a warehouse manager and you are experiencing problem with your inventory plan and misplayed product. Which of the following issues would you solve first? Rent the issues from one, least affects productivity, to five most affected productivity. Discuss the ranking with a pattern. Okay, you got there uh, and you are going to classify from one to five. Try to do it uh, yourself now and later on you are going to have time to talk with somebody else and you are going to discuss the reason why you decide to put number one in uh, in a specific uh, information. And at the end, uh, we are going to share all the information. Any question? What you are going to do, Yesenia, uh, tell me what you are going to do. I read it, teacher. Maria Elena, tell me what we are going to do. You need um, take a rank for the issues. Issues, no, no, it's issues. For depending our expense in the problems inventory, uh, we need take a rank, a rank for the fight inaccurate receipt, uh, purchase order, what is the number, the fear, the four, and for each one. Okay, okay try to do it now, please. Let's, let's. Okay, tell me. Hello, hello. Okay, 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 okay. Don't forget this question. We which but the following issues could you solve for? This is the first one. And then you are going to run the issue from one to five. Okay. 
Vamos. Teacher. Chama Laura. I consider eh, the Randy y Lex affect productivity is what holds space and organization eh, run one. Why do you consider that? Eh, Tell me your reasons. The reason is a eh, eh, adequate space y organization, the inventory in the warehouse. But you consider that uh, warehouse space and organization, uh, it doesn't affect productivity? Uh, less, less affect productivity, teacher. Okay, you are going to discuss with somebody else later on, but before I need that you uh, run from one to five and later on you are going to, as soon as you finish, uh, just let me know, please. And then we are going to create a breakout run and you are going to discuss with somebody else. Teacher, but in this case is for the account and misplaced product is true. Why? The problems, problems with inventory counts and misplaced product. Yeah. Yeah, we are experiencing problems with inventory counts and misplaced product too. Uh, it is based on that. How we are going to deal with this and how we are going to solve it. That is what you are doing. Okay, as soon as you finish, let me know, please. Did you finish? Yes. What about the rest? Finish the okay.
Okay, uh, let, 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 let us do this. I need that you go and discuss with somebody else why you have decided to put number one in the place you put it and the rest. What is how to face an organization? For me, teacher, inaccurate receipt and portrait orders is the first because it's a little problem, easy for resolve. Okay. You are going to discuss with somebody else in the breakout room. Teacher, for me, is, is number one is water house space and organization. Okay, okay, I, I got your point. I, I already created the breakout rooms and you are going to discuss with the person that I assigned and you need to talk about that. And after you talk with him or uh, with her, you are going to tell me. But I'm looking, uh, Maria Elena, you have only one device what, or two? Two. Uh, you got two, but I can find where you are. You are here at number three and... In one I can see, in other I can hear you. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to switch you as soon as, okay. Let us do it now. Try to talk about. Ninguno tengo el tres y el otro el cinco. Creo que María Concepción movió que sí. Cinco.
Okay, let us see. Oh, okay, I'm going to ask you. Escobar. Which of the, uh, of the following issue will you solve first? For me, teacher, the number one is where how space in organizations. Agree with Concepcion, Maria Concepcion. Okay. Um, what about you, Yesenia? Related with the question, which of the following issues would you solve first? And I'm, I'm not talking about random the issues from one. No, no. My question is, which of the following issues would you solve first? Uh, my first. Yes. My ah warehouse space and organization. This is I put uh, as a first. Okay. Um, I don't know, maybe you don't got my idea. Creo que no me están comprendiendo. La pregunta es, ¿cuál de los siguientes eh, problemas resolvería usted primero? No haciendo la clasificación todavía del 1 al 5. Así, en su punto de vista. En su punto de vista, ¿cuál de los siguientes consideras que es el problema? I consider, I consider teacher is um, very easy to me or um, put, put a, a court, put um, according to the employees. Oh. Now, according to your point of view. The communication between employees is very important, teacher. Uh, where is it? Uh, let, let, let me see, where is it? Lack, lack of communication? Lack of communication is the problem. Yeah, that, that, that my but, question my question is which of the, the, the problem would you solve first? Uh, the, this one, teacher. Lack of communication between employees. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um what about Ana Lilian is a, uh, as a listener, I guess. Well, maybe six. I don't know, Diana is busy now. Diana, Diana. Hi, teacher. Related with the question, uh, which of the following issues would you solve first and why? Uh, uh, I will solve first the lack of communication because many of the problems exist uh, for this for this problem. For th okay, thank you. What about you, Eric? The same question. Uh, which I will try uh, 
try first? Yeah, so first. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the lack of communication between employees because if they don't work together, uh, everything is going to get worse and worse. Okay. What about you, Laura? Hi, teacher. I resolve fears, problem, uh, in a correct receive and push order for, for little, a major control the inventory this problem resolve first <laughs> oh, okay as you can see you have a different point of view because uh, maybe you are thinking in a specific point but uh, in the end the, the most important thing maybe could be uh, the communication as some of you mentioned but also uh, it's really important the time management too, because in that way you are going to establish the schedule that in which you are going to do uh, different kinds of meeting in order to resolve different kinds of problem and so on. Okay, let us move to the, the next exercise because we are so close to reach the time. Okay. Uh, Okay, let us work on page number. Yeah, this is the, the same. Very okay. Exercise number three say building the vocabulary. Label the warehouse in alternative to their corresponding definition. And right here we have uh, drop shipping, public warehouse, private warehouse. Direct shipping and contract warehouse. Okay, I am by to read and to identify where are you going to put uh, every uh, one of this one that we have at the top. Okay, try to do it now, please. For example, uh, right here, number one said uh, this is a method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer directly. You need to think about it in order to look for the one. The second one said it is operated as an independent business offering a range of services, such as storage, handling, and transportation on the basis of a fixed or variable fee. Number three, warehouse owned, by a third party entity, this uh, warehouse provides specialized services in addition to allowing the client to store good. Number four, the retailer does not keep a good in a stock, but instead transfer customer order and shipment detail to the manufacturers, you know, the retail or a wholesaler who then chips the goods directly to the customer. And the last one, it, uh, it is a storage facility that is open to the general public. While this kind of warehouse is used by private individuals, they are also used by companies of small to medium size to store their goods safely. Okay, try to solve it and then we are going to check it.
That's so nice. You finished to let me know, please. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, let us start with the third one. Somebody wants to share what he or she has. And the one. Direct shipping, teacher. Okay, okay. Number one. This is a method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer directly. Okay. Number two. Number two. It is drop shipping. Drop shipping. I think is. Private warehouse. Private, private, private warehouse. Okay. I think is contract warehouse. Okay. What about number three? Number three. Number three, please. Private warehouse. We already we already have it in number two. Contract war contract warehouse teacher. Ah. Okay, let us see. 
contract okay what about number four number four Drop shipping teacher. Okay, drop shipping, drop shipping. Drop shipping, okay. okay. Yes. And the last one. Public warehouse. Public. Okay, you are there. Okay, thank you. We are so close to finish. Let me check out the attendance again. Remember, you need to, in order to approve this module, one of uh, the characteristic is that you need to have 80% of your attendance. No se les olvide que para la aprobación del módulo es muy importante el 80% de asistencia. Algunos ya a estas alturas, pues como que perdieron la cuenta, me parece. Ok, Ana Beatriz, no here. Maybe it's like Ana Lilian. Ana Lilian. It's not here. Selina. Escobar, Escobar is missing. I'm sorry, sir. Escobar is there. Ah, you 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 already know the order. <laughs> yeah, you know somebody that is before you and after you. Okay, Selena is now here. Diana. Present teacher. Okay, is there. Thank you, Eric. Present. Say Jonathan, Juan Carlos, Laura. Present teacher. Maria Concepcion. Present. Maria Elena. Present teacher. Maria Ernesto. Mayra. Saira. Present teacher. Okay, Misael. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. And Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I don't know if you have any questions or problem here. No questions. No. No question. Okay. No question. No question. I know. Mm. Maybe uh, you are living to the desk or something. Next week. Next <laughs> week. Very question. No well, much question. A lot of questions. Well, in fact, I'm not pretty sure today that we are going to finish, but uh, I guess because uh, we miss uh, the mother day, that means that we are going to take one or two days for the next week, you know. So please, you need to be patient. We are, we are missing just uh, 
one week and maybe two days, I guess. And I'm pretty sure about that, but uh, as soon as I get the information, I'm going to share it with you in order that you could uh, make your, your own plans, you know. Okay. It was a pleasure to be here with you, uh, and I hope to see you next week. Try to enjoy your weekend and do a lot of things that you need to do. And don't forget to read a little bit. Try to, to read uh, the next phase that we are going to start in. That way you're going to get more knowledge about the language that we are studying. Okay? Good night, and I hope to see you on Monday. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night teacher. Okay, bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good weekend. Okay, the same to you. Bye, Maria Elena. Bye, teacher. Me cuesta salir. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Okay, thank you. Design to you. Thanks.